The relationship between husband and wife should be one of closest friends. I measure the progress of a community by the degree of progress which women have achieved. Cultivation of mind should be the ultimate aim of human existence. I like the religion that teaches liberty, equality, and fraternity. I, if I find the Constitution being misused, I shall be the first to burn it. Life should be great rather than long. Religion is for man and not man for religion. Equality may be a fiction, but nonetheless one must accept it as a governing principle. A bitter thing cannot be made sweet. The taste of anything can be changed, but poison cannot be changed into nectar. Though I was born a Hindu, I solemnly assure you that I will not die as a Hindu. Humans are mortal, so are ideas. An idea needs propagation as much as a plant needs watering, otherwise both will wither and die. Constitution is not a mere lawyer's document. It is a vehicle of life, and its spirit is always the spirit of age. Indifferentism is the worst kind of disease that can affect people. So long as you do not achieve social liberty, whatever freedom is provided by the law is of no avail to you. Lost rights are never regained by appeals to the conscience of the usurpers, but by relentless struggle. Goats are used for sacrificial offerings and not lions. A safe army is better than a safe border. It is not enough to be electors only. It is necessary to be lawmakers, otherwise those who can be lawmakers will be the masters of those who can only be electors. Every man who repeats the dogma of mill that one country is no fit to rule another country must admit that one class is not fit to rule another class. A great man is different from an eminent one in that he is ready to be the servant of the society. Democracy is not merely a form of government. It is primarily a mode of associated living, of conjoint communicated experience. It is essentially an attitude of respect and reverence towards our fellow men. What are we having this liberty for? We are having this liberty in order to reform our social system, which is full of inequality, discrimination, and other things which conflict with our fundamental rights. Law and order are the medicine of the politic body, and when the politic body gets sick, medicine must be administered. If you ask me, my ideal would be the society based on liberty, equality, and fraternity. An ideal society should be mobile and full of channels of conveying a change taking place in one part to other parts. For a successful revolution, it is not enough that there is discontent. What is required is a profound and thorough conviction of the justice, necessity, and importance of political and social rights. Slavery does not merely mean a legalized form of subjection. It means a state of society in which some men are forced to accept from others the purposes which control their conduct. The basic idea underlying religion is to create an atmosphere for the spiritual development of the individual. Political tyranny is nothing compared to the social tyranny, and a reformer who defies society is a more courageous man than a politician who defies government. I refuse to join with them in performing the miracle, I will not say trick, of liberating the oppressed with the gold of the tyrant and raising the poor with the cash of the rich. The outcast is a byproduct of the caste system. There will be outcasts as long as there are castes. Nothing can emancipate the outcast except the destruction of the caste system. One cannot have any respect or regard for men who take the position of the reformer and then refuse to see the logical consequences of that position, let alone following them out in action. Every man must have a philosophy of life, for everyone must have a standard by which to measure his conduct, and philosophy is nothing but a standard by which to measure. A just society is that society in which ascending sense of reverence 
and descending sense of contempt is dissolved into the creation of a compassionate society.